Really? Yeah. Hey. You're wearing pink makeup. Uh, yeah, for you. Leah, what did I tell you? You don't look good in pink makeup. That's for girls with like pale skin. You have tan skin. Oh my god. Do you think you're Chun Jiyeon? No. You know what? I can't do this anymore. Why? Because I wore pink makeup? Oh yes. my god. Alright, just go home. I'm going home. Bye. I don't know what I've done so wrong, right? Can't I just wear pink with my tan yellow skin tone? Well, I know pink isn't really a color for me, so I always fantasize wearing pink. But you know what? If you choose the right pink, pink can actually complement your complexion. Then again, if you choose the right shade of pink, I'll show you how I pull off the pink. First, try to avoid wearing pink on your eyelids if you have a yellow skin tone like me. Pink can actually make you look a bit swollen, so it's quite awkward. Um, so I recommend going for taupey, brown, gray, or any color that you think it goes well with pink. At the moment, I'm obsessed with this shade from Maybelline The Nudes palette. Isn't it so pretty and natural? Your eye makeup should be more um, soft, subtle, or muted. Just, you know, adding a little bit of dimension will do. And don't forget to blend out the edges. As in for eyeliner, you can do whatever you want to do with your eyeliner. Oh, and I'm incorporating some pink color into my eye makeup, which is a sparkly cream shadow from Arito, and I love it so much. Spinning me around, falling on the ground. Got to say. Don't forget to line your lash line for that hazy looking eyes. Start dreaming every dream. You and I can live at the perfect scene. And I was kind of bored, so I went on and applied to falsies to give some volume. I cannot. Now, moving on to choosing the right pink blush, avoid pink blushes which has a blue undertone like this. Try to choose a pink blush which has a natural brown undertone or a peachy undertone to blend into your skin tone. And I thought this tar blush in Exposed it had a really warm, sandy, dusty pink color that flowers my skin tone, so I chose this for today's makeup. Just like in a movie, got the key and tell me, tell me, tell me Okay, the real game is on, hunting for the right pink lipstick. Definitely avoid pinks with blue undertones that tend to wash you out. I'll be your girl, yeah, I'll be your baby. I saw your face in my dreams. Pale pink will also clash with your whole complexion. A fantasy, we could be anything. I saw your face in my dream. As much as I love bubblegum pink, it doesn't really suit me. You know, it's not really an option for me. Instead, opt for a watermelon shade or a coral undertone or a pink that have hints of caramel and brown color. I found my perfect pink color which is the Muse Pink from Hera Rouge Chalet Glow Texture Range. And it has the smoothest application out of the whole wild world, baby. It almost feels like it's a lip balm, yet it has an amazing color payoff as you can see. And it's just a universal pink color that can actually complement a lot of a range of skin tones no matter what. So now I don't need to struggle anymore and I don't need to face those awkward moments with my pink lipsticks anymore. So yeah, that was it for today's pink makeup tutorial for those of you guys who actually don't wear a lot of pinks. If you have an Instagram account, do follow me at AboutLeahU. I'm very active over there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thanks for helping me out with this video. You've been a very nice bad boyfriend. Put the Instagram link right on this head around here so you can go check him out. And I'll see you in New York. Bye!